How to make a real-time dynamic water simulation in Blender. This should be fun. First, we need a plane, scale it up by 5, and subdivide it in edit mode to 80 or something less if you're running on low machine. We also need an object, a sphere maybe, added over the plane. The process we use here is dynamic paint, and it's super easy. The plane will take the canvas type, cause the effect will happen on it. Select canvas and hit add canvas. The sphere will be the brush, and same thing we need to do with the add brush button, so smash. The brush settings can stay on defaults, and we only need to switch the canvas type to waves to see the effect. So do that, hit the play animation button, and move the sphere on the plane to see the effect. You can shade smooth the plane and experiment with the numbers in the settings to get different results. Adding a water shader on this should be easy. But first, let me add a circular motion on the ball. By keeping center on the cursor and with a driver on the rotation, we can keep it moving. Next to the materials, make the ball metallic. Then to the plane, make the roughness on the BSDF to zero. Make the IOR 133 for water and the transmission on one should do fine. But to top it, you can add a noise texture with a bump node in the BSDF normal, tweak some of the values on those nodes to get a water-looking surface. I can also add a driver to the mapping location with hashtag frame and give the water some motion. To add foam on the ball's path, we can mix the BSDF with an emission shader and in the factor, use a geometry normal through a separate XYZ node and tweak it with a color ramp. You can go back to the canvas settings to play with the numbers until you're satisfied. And that's it. Like the video if you're still here and subscribe to not get drowned in this water. Stay sharp. Goodbye.